Hey guys, it's Bobcat Soup. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends, so I figured I could take my bad green screen here and go ahead and draw one of the characters as a Gundam. The character that I chose to do is Mirage, because uh, he's the one that I like playing as the most, because he's kind of a challenge and he's got unique skills. So. Uh, you know the drill, we're going to get right into the video, but if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. We make videos every single Friday at 5, and uh, yeah, let's get into the drawing. Alright, so getting into this, um, I was a little bit rusty at drawing robots in general, so <clears throat> this was kind of um, a difficult challenge. Um, I was trying to not just make it look like a guy in a suit of armor, which at first it really did. Um, I had to mess around with the proportions. I noticed that uh, mechas, uh, especially Gundams, have super huge calves. Uh, it looks like they never skip like the bottom of their leg day. And um, they also uh, tend to have very bulky torsos and kind of small heads. So I tried to capture that in this. I think I got the proportions of the Gundam correct, which was the hardest part, I would say. Another very difficult part of this character design was to not just use too many just like aspects of the character. So uh, trying to make it look like its own uh, re uh, unique design based off of an existing design instead of just oh here's you know Mirage Mirage's all Mar Mirage's uh, characteristics and every single piece of his outfit just on a robot because I didn't think that'd be as fun. So I did want this uh, design to have some individuality from uh, Mirage's design, and that was a pretty difficult difficult part. Um, but I, I think I did pretty good with it. Um, for instance, you know, like making the head yellow instead of just flesh tone because I figured, you know, it's a robot; it doesn't really have flesh, so we'll just do that instead. I, I think I think I got that that part down, but it was a very very big challenge. It was right up there with the proportions. A good example of things that we had to keep that I just couldn't get rid of from the original design uh, are things like uh, Mirage's hair. Obviously he's kind of a pretty boy character if you don't know so that's a pretty big part of his his uh, his appearance and also the kind of quilted 
uh, texture on his outfit. I, I referenced that with some of those, uh, as you can see, I have the crossing lines. Um, in my opinion, that's one of the things that makes his outfit uh, look so iconic. And so I wanted to keep stuff like that. That would make the character recognizable. Um, but I wanted to still make the design look like uh, unique in a way. So, yeah. I definitely enjoyed doing the shading as I usually do. But um, just like the mime that I did for uh, Ace of Clay, this was a little bit weird just because uh, I haven't really adjusted to doing shading on more humanoid kind of characters. Uh, I've been doing creatures a lot on this channel, so it was a little bit weird to do that, um, the shading on a humanoid, but it was still really satisfying and I actually really enjoyed it still, uh, despite the challenge. So for those of you who are not familiar with Apex, uh, Mirage uses holograms to trick people. So that's what you can see me drawing uh, right here. I'm drawing uh, the figure of his hologram and I ran into a lot of time constraints on this video, so I wasn't able to do full-on line work, but I don't think it really matters in the end thing. Um, since his holograms are obviously made out of light, they don't really need to be as detailed as uh, like the actual Mirage. And I think it came out pretty good, but I just have him, I have the Mirage Gundam pointing out, that's what he does in the game, to send out his, his uh, decoys, and then I have the decoy jumping kind of from him into action to go and fool some people, or bamboozle as uh, his catchphrase is. Unfortunately, I had to keep the background simple on this guy, again due to time constraints, but I got a nice yellow, which is his color, uh, I got action lines, and I got his catchphrase bamboozle scattered all across the background, so I think it's good. And without further ado, it is time for the reveal. So even though it is different from the regular content on this channel, what do you think? Do you want to see more of these video game characters as Gundams or as monsters? Because I would love to do more of them. Uh, of course, we're still going to do the state monsters. Uh, in fact, uh, if you are a new viewer and you don't know what states to monsters is, that's a series I do on this channel. And there's going to be a uh, playlist right up there where you can go and watch those videos. Again, if you're not subscribed, uh, you should subscribe. We make high quality art challenge videos and I will see you guys in the next video but until then stay creative.